Celebrity podcasts are killing it. And plenty of podcasters are wondering if there's a secret sauce to podcasting like a celebrity. As it turns out, there is. But is it relevant to podcasters who aren't celebrities? Hello and welcome to another podcast pontifications with me, Evo Terra. The great thing about having so many celebrities starting podcasts is that it brings more people, the fans of those celebrities, to podcasting. And the worst thing about having so many celebrities starting podcasts is that some of those new podcast listeners think, hey, hey, hey that looks easy. I can do that and enter the podcasting space with very unrealistic expectations. Some seasoned podcasters are impacted by this too. Listening to these low quality yet highly consumed episodes thinking, why am I spending so much effort making this super tight when this celebrity is clearly phoning it in, like perhaps literally phoning it in and sucking all the oxygen out of the room? I hear you. So today, I'm going to give you five tips on how to podcast like a celebrity. Only my tongue is going to be planted firmly in my cheek. Ready? Step number one, tip number one, actually be a celebrity. Yeah, because fans of celebrities are here for their crazy cult-like reasons, nothing rational. And crazy fans of celebrities will forgive a lot. One of the things that they will forgive is the quality of the episode that the celebrity puts out. Look, as long as they, can, they, the fan, can still have that weird parasocial relationship with the fan, things like equipment, attention to detail, uh, editing, whether that's from audio editing or editorial, none of that matters to them. The audience of a celebrity is oftentimes there for the banter. They, the celebrity's fans, don't see any fat needing to be trimmed. But you, the serious podcaster, probably don't have that luxury, which means you have to compete for attention by making a high quality show. Tip number two to podcast like a celebrity is have a built in audience in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions, before you start your podcast. That makes it so much easier to get traction for your podcast. You see, fans of celebrities are often connected to other fans, sometimes very tightly, sometimes loosely, which allows then a new thing from a celebrity to spread through fandom of that celebrity or adjacent celebrities to said celebrity very, very quickly. They have online communications, online communities, they have email lists, they have hashtags you can utilize. Fans of celebrities are waiting for something, anything new from a celebrity. And as soon as they encounter it, they want to rush to get the word out and spread it and be amongst the first to say, I was listening to it way back when. You probably don't have that luxury, serious podcaster. And you may find it hard to get word of mouth working for you en masse. Tip number three. Have lots of disposable income to spend on staff or paid services. Now, I'm sure that many celebrities do work hard. I don't doubt that at all. But they're often <laughs> paid very well and can therefore afford to quickly get up and running and turn over lots of duties to other people like their staff so they can just focus on being the talent. You know, the fun part. They got a spare room probably several of them, that needs to be sound treated and a bunch of new equipment added so they can really get a good sounding podcast in there. Yeah, okay, that can be done this weekend. They need a quality producer. They need a guest booker, a social media manager, a marketing manager, somebody running ad ops for them. They, with their disposable income, can bring those people on board very quickly so the machine is up and running fast. You probably don't have that luxury, serious podcaster. You have to evaluate every cost balanced against revenue potential. Tip number four, be connected to other celebrities, connected to other celebrities, therefore increasing your network effect quickly. There are enough celebrity shows now 
that a new celebrity podcaster can get booked on just about any of the other celebrity podcasts very, very quickly to be a guest. Celebrities are used to collaborating with other celebrities. So coordinating things like episode drops or crossover episodes is a breeze for them. And also something probably left to staff members, I'll grant you that as well. Look, you probably don't have that luxury, serious podcaster. So you have to slowly build relationships with other podcasters and find creative ways for you and they to work together. Tip number five, be able to call any news outlet or have someone call to get your show covered in that media format. Heck, it might even get picked up for syndication services around the world, around the net, everything, because that will help them spread the message further. Look, human beings love news and information about celebrities. Just look at them, the magazines at the grocery store aisle or check the trending hashtags on Twitter today. There'll be celebrity-related stuff in there. A podcast is just a show to the media, and to us, actually, and the media love to talk about a new show that a celebrity is creating. But you probably don't have that luxury and will find it quite hard to get even a local news outlet interested in your podcasting. So in case you didn't catch my subtle undertone, there's very little that podcasters like you and me, very serious podcasters, very little we can learn from celebrity podcasters unless you, unlike me, happen to already be a celebrity. For the rest of us, it's back to fundamentals. Just doing the work and making the best content we possibly can. Now, tomorrow is the penultimate episode of this half season. Then a break for me of a few weeks so I can recharge and create more content for you, resuming episode publishing shortly thereafter. So prepare yourself. I shall be back tomorrow with yet another podcast, Pontifications. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>